All right, man, everybody wants to blame Terrence Crawford for the Earl Spence fight not happening. You hear people going around saying, well, Crawford holding the fight up. It's Crawford, it's Crawford, it's Crawford. It ain't Spence. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, it's been a lot of inconsistency with Terrence Crawford. It's going to continue. And I ain't talking about from Mexicans. I ain't talking about from the white fans. From the, it's a reason why he said the British fans were the best fans out there. It's a huge reason for that because the majority, 90% of the hate Terrence Crawford get is from people that look like him. Let's keep it real. And not all the brothers want to blame him for this fight and it happened. Now, you got to understand, apparently, apparently a lot of black people in the boxing world seem to have a connection with PBC and seem to think it's a, it's pro-black. When Earl Spence got hurt by Ordenis Ugas on several occasions, there was nothing mentioned about it. When, Car when Crawford got rocked from Gavaloskis, and people said, well, he got dropped, he got dropped, he got dropped. Not one of them niggas said, well, Earl Spence got dropped. The ropes held him up. It should have been a knockdown. When Errol Spence ran out the arena after he stopped Sean Porter, ain't too many niggas kept it real but the old heads. So you hear all these different people popping up saying, we know it ain't Errol Spence, it's Terrence Crawford, it's Terrence Crawford. And nobody ever said, well, why did Showtime make the fight happen? Why did PBC make the fight happen? No, no, nobody is, is putting the blame on Al. And I understand Al Heyman don't speak. But Al Heyman has consistently gave y'all niggas a subpar boxing schedule this year. It heated up for a second, but it's still been subpar. Al Heyman has not made the big fights on his side of the street, but somehow it's Terrence Crawford fault. But let's talk about it. Check out the uh, welterweight and boxing news playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. When Errol Spence do some wrong, and them niggas don't say nothing. When a nigga get hurt, when he get dropped, when he get rocked, when he get caught for drunk driving, when he get his his eye tore up, when he get tore up by a Manny Pacquiao clone, when he went life or death for Sean Porter, it's always some type of fucking excuse. This nigga literally ran out the Terrence Crawford fight and them niggas still defended that. This nigga kissed a nigga on the neck or attempted to kiss another man on the neck and they still defended that. Think about that for a minute, bro. And it ain't like Terrence Crawford is white or Terrence Crawford from like, you know, whatever. I don't know if he from Omaha, but I'm like I could. I'm going to continue to say this. It seemed like a lot of people in the boss community, the darker you are, the more the issue and the more the problem they got with you. And, and I'm just speaking the real. I'm telling you. The more problem they got with you. Triple G, he moved like he moved like a little 304. He don't get had a back backlash uh, Deontay Wilder get. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of females they praise out here. Then they bash Carissa Shields. Of course, okay, she she boasted, she glows. She said she could beat dudes. Ronda Rousey did the same thing. And Ronda Rousey ain't have one percent of the talent that Carissa Shields didn't have. They praise Triple G for ducking and dodging and being manufactured and picking and choosing his career, and he's just decorated amateur. And they blast Deontay Wilder. Oh, he don't do this, he don't do that. And like I said, the majority of that that inconsistent hate come from black people. You know what I'm saying? Errol Spence can't do no wrong. And when Terrence Crawford whooped Errol Spence ass. They gonna continue to move the pedal. Oh, it was the injuries. It was the weight, and now he can't beat boots. And not, not none of them niggas pressure pressure him to, hit, to fight boots. None of them. It was it was oh man, you know Crawford ain't beat nobody's good kill bro. Oh, he beat no Sean Porter. Now he need to beat boots. He need to do this. Not too long ago, Errol Spence supporters was saying how Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, uh, we don't want out. They don't want to see the fight. Well, you know, we know it's Errol Terrence Crawford. Well, why can't be Al Heyman? Because Al Heyman. Then did messed up several fights. Al Heyman and messed up Jerry Hurd, Jamil Charlo, right? And somehow these people still pledge allegiance to PBC. You know, he, ne he never delivered Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, the Charlo twins versus Demetrius Andrade. Instead of saying, well, Demetrius Andrade, you right. Let's make your money right and giving him the money. He did Tank Davis, he scared to fight any and everybody. He ain't fight Shakur. He ain't fighting Devin. He ain't fight Lomachenko. But like I said before, if that was Terrence Crawford, niggas have a problem. I'm telling y'all, this built-in support for PBC, the thing about it is they sit here and you see all these people uh, uh, show PBC love, but these are the same niggas that's not buying on pay-per-views. Same people that's not buying Tank pay-per-views and Tank doing between seventy and 75,000 pay-per-views, 60,000 pay-per-views, probably 50,000 pay-per-views. That's why you don't build the foundation on the black dollar. I keep telling y'all that. That's why. That's why. That's why. 
Because once you start building the foundation, they don't spend no money. Errol Smith's pay-per-views ain't no better than Terrence Crawford's. I told y'all, it's not a big discrepancy. And it sounded like it took over. It took to, it took for Terrence Crawford to take over his own negotiations, which that's been out there in the media. Bernie said that shit. He said it, but it's been out there. Ain't none of them. He said, well, good job on Terrence Crawford. He really want the fight. If Crawford didn't want the fight, dumbasses, he could have just hid behind Al Heyman. You know, he could have just hid behind, excuse me, Bob Arum. Like Errol Spence did. Oh, he on the wrong side of the street. He did this. He did that. They came together for Fury and Wilder. Tyson Fury had no United, no U.S. presence. Before Wilder, he fought Steve Cunningham. You know, that's it. That's it. You know? So, like I continue to tell y'all, bro, all these people saying, well, you know, it's his fault, and you know, whatever reason they don't like Bud, they feel they feel like they they put they they pledge allegiance to PBC, but they don't spread, break no fucking bit bread. They don't buy these pay per views. Ain't that funny? They don't buy these pay per views. These niggas don't buy Errol Spence and Tank merch. The pay per views not matching the gate numbers. These these dudes these dudes man like I continue to say dude. And then after the fight, all they gonna do is move the goalposts on Terrence Crawford. I'm telling you what they gonna do. They gonna move it to the goalposts and say, well, you know, he ain't. Oh, he fought a shell of himself. He can move and fight Jamel Charlo. Then they gonna say, well, Charlo was never as good as as Zero Spence anyway. And this, that, and the third. To me, bro, I don't know if the if if if, if PBC paying these niggas to say to say this stuff and show this this blind support. For these dudes, man. But once Errol Spence beat his ass, man. Watch, watch, you know, once Terrence Crawford, excuse me, beat his ass. Or if he beat his ass, I think he will. Watch, watch how the narrative changed to how they're gonna continue to, to push the to push the pendulum, and then they're gonna turn around when 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 fans, you know, when the white and the other fans show inconsistency, then they're gonna try to play the black card. When in fact, they don't even they don't they don't even you know support the black card. You know, like I said, well, we've got to be Terrence Crawford for it. Why can't be Al Heyman for it? Why can't be Showtime for it? They the ones that's putting all this bullshit on pay-per-view. Y'all ain't buying it. Why can't the blame fall on Errol? So we know it ain't Errol Smith, man. We ain't scared of nothing, man. I know he ran out the nigga fight, and, and he did all this, that, and the third. But, you know, like I said before, man, what, man come on. Imagine Terrence Crawford trying to kiss Bernie on the neck, and what would be the backlash? Y'all want to know why why boxing is, is cornball central, bro? Because these niggas. And if you feel like I'm talking about you, I am talking about you. This this pledge allegiance to PBC, and then when they do put this fight on, and they start banning y'all niggas from the press room and not giving y'all credentials and telling y'all finance y'all way to the fight, then y'all just gonna cry for a minute and still beg to get back in in the next show. That's why I respect the Neil from Hoop Jab, man. When they when they when he was going to all their little hole in the wall uh fights and go support hoop jab on YouTube, he's still covering the NBA. When he started going to all their little hole in the wall fights and they denied him uh and they denied him uh for the Manny Pacquiao and, uh, and Floyd Mayweather fight, he got denied. He said, I ain't doing this shit no more. He said, I ain't doing this no more, bro. I ain't doing this no more, but I'm I'm not gonna keep doing this. And I don't even, and I don't blame him, bro. And I don't blame him. Real talk. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him, bro. So I, I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, can't nobody put blame on on nobody else, bro. This nigga Earl Spence waited all this time for this fight to happen. I guarantee you, if Terrence Crawford never set it up where he can get out this. Uh, top rank deal, dude. They would have hid behind that and not made this fight. And I don't understand where this, where this, this pledge allegiance is coming from for PBC. You know, oh, it's a black owned. It's like a black owned business, but they, 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 they material getting supplied from the clan. How that work? They material getting supplied from the clan, from the clan. How do that work? Come on. 
or them they playing white workers. They paying white worker more than black uh, workers, and they supposed to be a pro black, uh, 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 a pro black company. Come on, how do that work? How does that work? Like I said before, man, y'all be talking about oh, we support black boxing and we need to stay on cold. Most of y'all didn't stay on cold when it came to this topic. Most of y'all don't even know what being on cold means. Matter of fact, most of y'all don't even know what being consistent means. All y'all know is dick ride, dick ride, dick ride, dick ride, dick ride, like control all delete control. That's all y'all know. Ain't no consistent. Terrence Crawford ain't did shit to y'all niggas. If you don't want to give y'all an interview, so be it. Marshawn Lynch, y'all praise him for not giving uh, media members an interview in the NFL. Y'all praise him for not doing that. For doing that. Now I come to Terrence Crawford and it's a problem. Come on. We got to be consistent, people. Y'all supporting a company that don't even support black people. They support Hispanic dollars. They shun y'all. They made y'all niggas wait four or five years for this fight. Bob Barrow said several years ago he was ready to make this fight. They got, you know, Tank running from fucking Lomachenko when he should have been for Lomachenko. And Devin Haney already willing to step up to the plate. So it is what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop the video for Nancy. You want to support the channel? Cash out dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Um, other than that, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, um, <clears throat> Apple Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. One time for the one time piece.